is OBS, the ultimate video editing software. In this video, I'm going to explain why I think it's going to be a good one. Because if you remember, I did a video explaining OBS video editing. And I broke down in that episode how you can edit videos in OBS. Did I really though? Was that an episode where I said to you, you can video edit in OBS? Is it a bit misleading? Maybe. In this video, I'm going to go through some other comments and explain to you if you can indeed use OBS as a video editing program. To answer the question straight away, you can't edit videos after the fact. For example, you've recorded a video on your mobile phone and you've got a video clip. You want to edit it? Can you edit it in OBS? No. So that's a no. However, what you can do is what I'm doing right now. For example, this is a live video recording. Is it the ultimate video editing software? That's like a click of a button. That could be a hotkey, which basically means use my keyboard, click on it and things come up on screen. Would I have had to use a video editing program to do that if I wasn't using OBS? Yes, because I would need to put this video into the editing program and put that text on top. What about if I wanted to put an intro? like this this is a full screen intro but i can make it a bit smaller to show you the options it's it's things that help you see that that flashed on screen i got an outro version of that i've got little pop-ups that can be smaller that is live right now in our video we are using there's a couple of them probably gonna cause you a few loud and low volumes but what that does is it allows us to use it as a program that we are pre-planning which means it's letting us do editing while we're recording the video the last couple of hundred videos on Zulf photography channel has been recorded in this way i've got about 11 other channels that i'll be recording videos for so when i'm not posting on this channel I'm out doing videos on other channels and that makes everything a lot easier. Right now, you'll notice I can even switch between the screens. That was a punch in effect. So if I go here, I used to have the stream fail deck, which is a, a waste of space, which is probably my last video that you saw. And that's where you saw me get rid of it. So that screen there, for some reason, it was there. So you'll see that's my screen share. I've got another camera here and then there's other elements that you can do and get really fancy with this. But I'm going to explain that in more details. Check out the chapters for breakdown of each section. That's like a little intro of what can be done. That is a very basic level. You can go full intense level. You can add filters onto the video to make the colors pop a bit more. But let's look at some of the other things. What is OBS? If you've not heard about OBS, what's OBS? So the introduction to OBS would be open broadcast software. It's a type of program you install it on your computer and it lets you do various things. It looks like, let me show you what it looks like. It looks like this. So it looks a bit complicated, but it's not as complicated. I'll give you a quick overview of it. So actually you're seeing my screen. Let me turn my screen off on this there. So this black section here is where my camera would appear. My camera being you. So that is a camera which would appear in that box. That's a good way of putting your camera in as well as the audio. So you'll see this microphone here. That's one step that you're already improving because a lot of people record the video and the audio and then they have to go into editing software and line up the video with the audio and oh yeah, is that lined up? Am I out of sync and things like that? This will automatically do it for you while you're recording the videos. That's one step I've already eliminated. And that would mean, let me just go here because I've got two OBSs open, it's getting a little bit confused about what you're seeing. Uh, yes, so you're looking at OBS. Now here you've got different elements of the process. So you've got music playing in the background, which you can have. You can have the microphone, you can have additional things. So think of OBS as like a table. And you could, on your table, you could put an MP3 player and play a song. You could put another tablet and play a video on your table so you're watching that you can have extra sheets of paper you can have a presentation so obs is kind of a table where you can see everything and the camera is recording that table so if you look at it in that way 
that might help you understand what OBS is. So it's a type of program that lets you put multiple things there, which then you can record with one camera and everything's there. So does it take a bit of pre-planning? Yes, it does. But a lot of my videos on this channel, I know the layout that I'm gonna be following. So I have three screens set up, this screen, I have the punch-in screen, then I have the desktop sharing screen to show you my desktop. And then at times I've even got videos that I've recorded and I've left in here. And I can click on the little eye button and the video will show up on, on your, your screen, like kind of this kind of thing. Or you can have a video this is the extent you can go to. You can have a video with loads of uh, images or B-roll and leave gaps, which means while you're playing that clip on top of this video, you'll have images playing over the video and you won't need to edit at all. Do you, do you need an editing program? Yes, because you need to do that in editing program. So if you totally don't want an editing program, you can record as one take and that will normally help you get around that. So that's a brief overview on OBS and also the misconceptions about OBS only being used for live streaming. That's not quite right because you can record video directly to your hard drive, which then means the video is available for you to use and upload to other sites, YouTube being one of them, Instagram. You can have videos in like a horizontal format. OBS gets quite uh, technical with that sort of thing. So the main features here are you've got the option to edit videos while they're being made. For example, right now, this would have been an edit. I would have had to go gone, gone into my editing program, crop, expand, and then, you know, add in the audio. These little things would have been extra things but to make this as easy as possible i do very light editing on my videos the main thing is uh, uh, often like a, a punch in you'll see a video you'll see my desktop if i've got cameras if i'm talking about stuff i can easily show you you can have multiple cameras in this setup i've got the one you can have a top down camera in obs which would then be this screen and you can see like a top down view of something so all of these things help you with editing and if you haven't already seen my video editing uh, breakdown video i think you'll find that helpful because what it does do for you is it shows you how i'm doing stuff like for example in there i did like timer effects on the desktop and i walked through that so you can check that video out but i wanted to do this one as a follow-up because you had people uh, leaving comments so let's have a quick look at that uh, thank you okay that was good thank you the main issue is after you recorded the face cam is separate image or i need to separate camera so if you're recording as i do here you can have your camera as a camera on top of let me show you what I mean here. So here you'll see Canon 850D is the name of my camera. I can bring that above anything below it. So think of it like a layering system. If I have my mobile phone and then I put this in front of my mobile phone, that shows the phone doesn't show. So that's basically what you're doing. Your camera is uh, input and you put that on the hierarchy and you can see the two of them, if that makes sense. So you can have your camera screen within that as well which helps you if that yeah so that's one of them what else as usual myself this is helpful good uh, do you switch from camera to camera smoothly though how do you switch from camera to camera smoothly so how can you switch from one camera to another camera don't buy a fail deck which is uh, one of these things let me show you what that is because i did a video about it uh, which a lot of people will say is the way to go but it's not really uh, can I go to that video quickly? I think maybe. There's details, video. There. So that's that fail deck. I sold it because that was meant to make it smoothly switch and transition. In this, you can have your keyboard and use the keys that are least often used. So I've got F1, which is this screen. I've got F2, which comes here. Then I've got F3, which would be my desktop. But because I'm doing a, a multi-capture, I've got two OBSs open, so it confuses it and it doesn't see the screen. But that won't happen when you have one OBS. So that's that. Then you've got F2. You'll also notice if you pay attention to the background music, when I go to this screen, it's a bit like, ooh, dramatic. There's a different music playing in the background. If you, I'll, I'll raise the volume of it a bit. Can you hear that? Like a bit of a beat. And then when I go to the other screen, the beat changes again. 
So there's like a bit of variation. It's not an intensive edit. I brought, I paid for a DaVinci Resolve. And I paid for that like three years ago. I've used it a couple of times. But I don't think I need that level of editing. A lot of my stuff is like me just talking to you. And I prefer to do it in this way where there's still elements of some editing going on. Like this, you've got linked audio, I've got the light set up, the camera's decent, is it look okay to you? You've got extra, a little bit of music in the background, it's got interest, hopefully. But the main thing with my content is, is it going to help you? I don't really mind if it's too highly edited. So if it helps you, that's good. And even if it helps a few people, that's perfect. Um, it's just the case that some of these videos are too intense and they're distracting from the actual content. Is it answering the question of... The user like the person that clicked on this video like for example today you clicked on this video and you ask yourself can you edit on obs so i'm answering that by saying yes and no it's not an editing program but you can make it work because i've made it work in a way even look at this in the bottom wrong corner here see that that's like auto yeah so these little tricks i've got videos on my channel which explain how things are done but all of this you can have a banner going along the bottom you can have like different effects you can have music you can have text you, you know like you can have little titles that you pre-prepare you can even have a presentation which you play on screen and share your screen and then the way i transition between them is the, the shortcut keys they're called hot keys in obs and you like you become second nature as you start speaking and you're talking about thinking you think you know what i was going to be looking at that but let's have a look at that again in another way so it's like you just remember and keep it as simple as possible too many keys gets confusing i've got three buttons there one screen wide one screen shut in then a third screen that's all you need really and providing the points to know what else we got here so seamless integration of video footage images and audio in obs yes you can seamlessly transition between them because each one is set as a layer and you skip to that section of screen and you can you know like i'm showing the basic edits here but for example that is like just a section to show you you can go to the solvetalks.com and i've got a full resources section which you can click on and it looks like oh, let me just move that screen you can lock them so you don't accidentally move them but if i see that's the main camera this is this one so for me that a little bit smaller i just remember it's opposite on camera there so this is how this would look so let me give you an example of this so if you're considering getting more information about the topic i talked about you can actually visit my website and i'm pointing in the wrong direction just here so zolftalks.com and there's a full selection of information to support what i'm talking about you can click on that it looks like this so at least you've got an idea of what you can expect to see and the podcast explains a number of things for example so that's like a, a splash screen from my podcast episode and i didn't need to edit it so this video what you're seeing is what i'm saying if i make a mistake who cares i made a mistake so i think it's better to be genuine and if people can hear what we're talking about and the things i'm going through i'd prefer to share those maybe maybe it can be more streamlined yeah definitely but mm, in this world now especially with everything being ai and perfect would i want to hear a real person showing me their experience yeah so i don't mind if you know the odd things obviously if you sneeze or something you can pause let me pause and show you so i got my hand up now i'm gonna pause the video now on post so during that there's been like two seconds i can pause that for longer and do something and come back and continue so there's elements there you can have that on a shortcut key uh, can you use it as a video editing program i do I, i've since i've recorded an obs i've very rarely put this video into an editing software and done any editing on it i just put this straight onto youtube and that's done so as long as you've got your flow set up like your intro sorted like in the start i did a little intro then i talked about the topic then i showed you a bit of extra stuff and then you bring it down to a closing section stuff like hopefully you found this section today helpful about the obs tips and how you can use it you should definitely check out the next video because that gives you a lot more information i'll see you on that see it's like transition just that and then stop and then the next one click on it and play see you in the next one